Welcome back. Could your teeth hold the key to a life-threatening illness down the road? Local families are getting a new look and outlook on what to do with their children's baby tooth or painful wisdom teeth. Well, Liz Quirante shows us now with why, or she's with us now, with why dentists are now pulling teeth with a purpose. Liz. You could say that. For years, pregnant women have been given the option of storing cord blood for stem cells in case of future disease or injury. Now there's a much more readily accessible source of those stem cells, and it's in your child's mouth. My tooth went to New York. That's right, your teeth went to New York. Rebecca is absolutely right. She recently underwent surgery to remove two impacted teeth. But instead of discarding them, local oral surgeon Dr. Andrew Slavin suggested they be saved for what's inside, stem cells. The impacted wisdom teeth are a great source of these stem cells. It was recently discovered that the dental pulp inside wisdom teeth and baby teeth contains a rich source of stem cells. Stem cells are different than other cells in the body because they regenerate and produce specialized cell types. They heal and restore skin, bones, muscles, and nerves. And that has opened the door to new medical treatments being developed to treat a range of diseases and injuries thought to be difficult or impossible to treat. So how does it work? The surgeon extracts the tooth, puts it in a special solution to preserve it, and sends it to a company called StemSave. StemSave retrieves the stem cells and stores them until you need them. If a teenager had their wisdom teeth out and in later life, in their third decade or fourth decade of life, they developed a chronic disease, a muscle condition, a problem with their liver, a problem with their heart, they could actually use their stem cells, their own stem cells, and not have the fear of rejection from using someone else's tissue. Stem Save's initial fee is $500, then $100 a year for storage. It was a no-brainer for me. It was an insurance policy for her in the future. So we're really glad we went ahead and we did it. Rebecca's mom, Kathleen, isn't worried about Rebecca getting sick in the future. She's hoping for a future treatment for Rebecca's cerebral palsy. And Rebecca is banking on those teeth to provide a cure. Hopefully one day we can repair some of the damage that Rebecca suffers from her cerebral palsy and that she'll be able to walk and do things easier. Hopefully, God willing, we'll see. We don't know what the future holds as technology advances. It's not 100 years in the future. It's not even 50 years in the future. It's probably like 10 years in the future. Now, if you want to save your baby's child, uh, your child's baby tooth, for the stem cells, don't pull it out yourself and then bring it to the dentist. It has to be done in the office and preserved properly. So then why not wait, say for instance, you have an injury or you have a disease and then take the tooth out yourself and bring it in if you need it at that point? That's a good question. Uh, actually, you're, as you age, you're, you get less stem cells. So you wanna do it when you're young. Mm. That's when you have the most stem cells available for the future. So it's something you would do for your children. Preventatively. Mm -hmm. Leave it up to doctors, not the tooth fairy. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good, good point. Theory. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much, Liz. All right. Could it be 